and aloha. <laughs> Welcome to Talk Story, Maui's longest talk show. Been around for just about 30 years. Yeah, you just won't be quiet, will you? I know. I love just talking, Jack. I can talk and, talk and talk and talk. I mean, I try to think of all the minutes I've spent talking in my life, and it's kind of scary. Your time's up. <laughs> Not yet. I got and a show to do. Adam. I got a show to do. Well, you can recognize that voice. That's Jack Gist here with me. And it's so Hi-o. good to see Autumn Hi, aloha. from the Maui Fair. It's all about the fair for the first half hour here uh, because this Thursday, the 96th Maui Fair kicks off. It's a timeless tradition, which takes a lot of organizing, planning, and work, and it's huge. And um, so I thought we'd kind of give uh, the, the first part of the show today a lot of attention to what's going on, starting with... The fact that tomorrow is the kickoff with the parade at 4.30. You can talk. Thursday, <laughs> Cindy. Thursday. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, yeah, yeah, tomorrow Thursday. is Wednesday. Yes, that's well, right. Well, you just jumped don't, in the well, future. Yeah, that was, I that felt I weird don't, all of a sudden. Don't, don't scare me like that. <laughs> <laughs> so so it's going to be a fun kickoff. But of course, I just heard in the news, Jack, you're talking about the road closures, which is very mm-hmm. important. Because at 4.15, um, people will have to do a detour around the area. If- and the police are very serious about it. They'll cut it right off at 415, and it causes a big mess. Mm-hmm. And it happens, it's, it's, start, it's a start of the celebration. Yes, it the is. The big mess. It is. So plan <laughs> to, to avoid that area till the parade is over at about, what, 615? About, 615? yeah, a little after 615. 615. So, um, but the parade is always a part of the timeless tradition, isn't it? Yes, mm-hmm. and that's one of the you know, our biggest openings for the fair, and we always look forward to that just to start it off with such a timeless tradition in the community and different organizations coming together and walking together to really celebrate what the Maui Fair is about. Well, this year it's kind of fun. I mean, I love this. You know, we all love the first responders, and you have a focus with the parade grand marshals this year honoring all our first responders. What a huge and wonderful idea that is. Now, that's how do you even do that? That's a lot of folks involved in first responding, right? Lots of folks involved, and we're just really excited to highlight them um, for all the incidents that have happened lately with the fires and the storms and everything, and that they're the first ones on the ground. And, you know, um, having our community and them come out, and, you know, it's really important that we highlight them for their hard work that they've done. So how are they going to be doing this? Are they going to have the fire department and the police and what other uh, some uh, uh, maui electric's going to be involved also is- some of the linemen well from yeah that. yeah <laughs> so, so are they going to be there like are the police going to be um, in vehicles or how's it gonna um, happen? they'll be walking and then have some vehicles also involved too wow so it'll be and one of our the- biggest parades ever and there's there's going to be all the fire trucks and everything as well My yes gosh. yes yeah. wow very that's exciting a great way to kick it off mm-hmm. and that's going to be a huge Horse there. Yeah, really big turnout. So, so we're no excited. fires or accidents or anything happening yeah. tomorrow <laughs> at four thirty. Okay, folks, we got to keep it safe on our own because the first responders are going to be rather busy at that time. So you better be very careful for at least no accidents, enough. no fires, no yeah. storms. Please, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. That's, let's keep it safe for uh, at least that little break. That's very cool. What a great, what a great idea. And I think that's the first time we've seen that at the fair. Yes, yes, it is the first time. So I love that idea. I love that idea. Um, of course, then there's entertainment on Thursday night as well. With um, And I think it always starts off at 6 o'clock with the Zen Shindaiko. Yes, drummers. we can't break that timeless tradition. They always do a great job at getting everyone excited for the start. And you got Governor David Ike. Yes, he will be making an appearance along with Mayor Alan Arakawa. Wow. Wow, heavy. And they'll and be doing the proclamation to the our Grand Marshals, the Maui County First Responders. Well, nice. I love that you got the Makaha Sons. That's Ooh, really? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, they'll be starting nice. off on the entertainment stage, 7.30 p.m. Followed by Princess I- Iona. Ilona. Ilona Irving. Yeah. Well, so. that's a nice way to kick off. Good opening night. So the, sh- the uh, fair is open to what time on Thursday night? The fair is open till 11 p.m. on Thursday. Okay. Fun. And then you have a special Friday. It's always been on Friday a special a special day, right? It's uh, special needs. Special needs day. Uh, yes, it is special fair day. So for the first half of the d- um, day, we have special fair day. Yes. <laughs> um, for the first morning, Friday morning. So it's a way of us uh, showing the fun and excitement with families and neighbors and friends who have physical or mental limitations um, that can't regularly attend the fair during normal hours. Um, so we're greatly appreciative that we can give that back to them and let um, them come and enjoy the fair. That's an exciting time, too. Yes, see those kids and 
how their faces are all yeah. lit. Yeah, they have plenty of room, no a problem. A lot of caregivers and people helping out yeah. to make that special. Very special. Okay, then, Jack, we've got the big night. We're very excited about this. This is the first time. We've done a lot of Friday nights at the fair before. You and I have worked on five or six at of them, least, right? At least, at least. But this is the first time there's been a rock night. Yes. So we're Tasteful gonna, rock night. We're, we're gonna, I tell you what. Yeah, we have uh, Katakoa kicking off at 630. And uh, they're pretty much putting together a different type of music. It would be considered like a, an ook reggae rock band. Yeah. With Vince Esquire, Don Lopez. And if you ever seen these guys. They rock. I mean, whoa. I mean, they, I mean, they, yeah, they play just, heavy. Yeah, there's ukulele. something else. You've seen them before, right? Yeah, yeah. No, they're really great. And yeah. they have a uh, Nohoku uh, Hano Hano Award yes, for, they do. for the very first CD. They do. We just, uh, last week, featured their brand week. new, yeah. their very pre- world premiere of their Bustin' Rock song. And you didn't give me a copy of it. I gave it to, actually, we put it on Q103, our sister station. Oh, okay, well. We're playing I'll, it. I'll, I'll yeah. take it from him. Will you then. do it? Yeah, he's got it. And um, then that's at 6.30. So the doors open at, at 5, I believe, on Friday. So you can get there at 5, you know, wander around. You've got to get yourself some food and, and fun stuff, you know, check it out. Hit the food you cart. Hit the food, do the thing. And the thing that's nice about the entertainment tent is that it's um, right next <clears throat> to the food. I mean, last year a lot of people would sit down and, and sit there and watch the music while they're eating because there's actually a lot of picnic tables back behind where the entertainment tent is, right? Yes, it'll be the same setup as the previous years. Yeah, and th- there's a lot of room for the entertainment. I, I don't know how many it seats, but it sure looks like it's about four or 500 w- with seats there. Uh, around that, yeah, it can fit quite a few. And big news this year, I was just talking to you before we started about the fact that you've got this massive screen you're doing for the first time we will have a massive led screen um you know thanks to carmart our sponsors of that we're really appreciative of having them you know um, oh carmart's doing that yeah i didn't know they did big screens yeah they sponsored Um, it uh so it's um outside company that's providing the tv and then carmart has helped us provide that to fairgoers this year just to let you know on what different information is going on around on the fair the lost keiki tent um different acts that are coming up um, on that hour, every hour. So we're really excited to be able to provide that up-to-date information um, you know, that's easily accessible and readable for fairgoers. So will there be any video connected with any of the entertainment shown on there? Um, so it's not going to be live streaming the entertainment. Um, we hope to do that um, down the line, but we will have different videos um, up playing out throughout the fair of our sponsors and um, just all the information that fairgoers need to know. Um, and there's going to be little kind of entertainment flash mob things like you did last year as well. Yes, we will have the street party back. Um, that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 5.30 p.m. We'll have the stilt walkers, Zumba, um, some different dance groups um, also performing. And MAPA will be part of that as well. Oh, nice. Fun. And then the big big thing, Jack is so excited. Uh, we, we're bringing back Exiles on Maui. It's a tribute to the... Rolling Stones, and uh, we did this. It was right after the storm. The you know what? Yeah, we dealt. We were we were actually part of the the, the hurricane. Yes, absolutely. Basically. It was yeah, outrageous, Jack. It was we a were, great performance. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we we put our heart into it, and uh, we were very concerned because uh, you know it started raining. Mm-hmm. Uh, we didn't know which way the direct uh, which way the, the wind was going to blow, yeah. or the rain was going to blow, any, or anything was going to blow. The weather, yes, yeah. yeah. And uh, we still pulled in 300 people, and uh, just a great rock and time. It was amazing. Yeah, it was. It was. I, you know, I'm very. I have to say, I mean, I've been around music so long. I'm rather judgmental and critical of music, and I get a little nervous when someone says they're going to do a tribute, because how do you do the Rolling Stones? But so I went going, okay, all right. You know, I've heard they're good. Um, beyond my wildest expectations. It knocked it out of the park. And because there's a horn section with the amazing John Sangrando, there's backup singers. Um, you you got the full-on band. And then, mm-hmm. of course, there's Jack. And, and Satchel, um, Gleason, just is amazing on vocals. He bleeds the stones. Yeah. No, he's got it down. And, and Neil's, of course, um, you know, we all know what a great guitarist he is. And mm-hmm. amazing drumming. and bass. Every single musician... Uh, blew my mind, and the backup singers were great. So this is going to be uh, at starting at eight, and it goes to nine thirty. But be prepared to dance. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> Niels has been talking about this for a while, putting this uh, tribute together, because it's the Stones. I mm-hmm. mean, there's if, if you look at how 
how many rock bands are actually are. I mean, the, the Stones and the like, Tom Petty and such. Beatles, pop rock, but keep them out of the loop. But uh, a lot of the other rock band, true rock bands, uh, and uh, the the Stones are just like up there, number one. Uh, so there's so much to work with. My gosh, they've been doing it for 56 years. Yeah. And uh, the toughest uh, decision I think that they had to make was which songs to do. Yeah. But we wanted to. Sk- oh, and, but you did the, the good song. Yeah, good. wanted to keep it right yeah. to the core. Yeah. Uh, 68, 67, Brown sugar 68. was in there. Yeah. Uh, which is important. The Let It Bleed album, yes. Beggar's Banquet. Dead uh, Flowers. Yep. Yep. Exile Main Street, yep. uh, Sticky Fingers, yeah, all those albums right there is probably like their their hardcore releases, and uh, we try to best represent it. As, and you're uh, going to MC that night too. Yes, I'm going to MC the duty. entire duty. show. Oh, yeah, duty, yep. it's a pleasure though. Yeah, I mean, come on, I get to introduce kind of cool and bring on the band and that it's I'm a working nice with. Big stage. Yes, plenty it's of a nice room. Big stage. Yeah, Mulligans. We were like uh, jamming. elbow to it elbow. Was jam, jam, and jam. <laughs> uh, but I was behind. Room. I was backing up the backup singers. I was behind them. So, so it's it's cool because you can sit, you can stand, you can dance, you can. There's room to move, and you could even play that. But no, that's John Mayo. But there is, and that's it's going to be a great way to kick it off. And then there's the Trance and Mackie Car- Karaoke Showdown at ten o'clock that night. So a full night. Um, on Friday, and we're really excited about it. Yes. I, I want to see some pictures of the entertain the practices. I know you're in practice. You, tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. You know tomorrow night, yeah. Take pictures. Okay, oh, yeah. I will. Take pictures. I want to see them. Promise, then promise. one of the big things that happens on Saturday, of course, there's going to be country, and then there's the popular Baby of the Year contest. One year I emceed that. Oh, God, I'm so glad I don't have to it again. Oh, it's oh no, I was a judge. I oh. was at one year. Oh my gosh! You can make yeah. enemies. No, that's you a hard can choice. Make, oh, the judging a baby of the year. Yeah, by oh, far our cutest gosh. event. Oh my gosh! It's and, I always turn down being a judge of anything. Yeah, yeah. Because because you have to judge them. But you can take <laughs> pictures. A lot of photo opportunities. Then at seven, it's Ecolu, another great band. Ooh, wow. they're, they're good. Uh, then breakdance and Blaine a- Asing. 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 And then Sunday, my gosh, um, big full night on Jam-packed on Sunday. Day. Actually, the yes. whole day starting with at one o'clock, right? Uh, Eleven a.m. Actually. Oh my gosh, yeah. Ahumanu! Yeah, Ahumanu will be there. And then we have one, we have Cleo Phillips. Um, Three p.m. Our Maui Fire Department chili cook-off, and then in its second year, we have the KPOA fried rice um, contest with the firefighters. So it's their in-house culinary chefs that will be cooking it up, um, and then public can sample for about five dollars i believe um and that all goes to the shriners fund and um the, uh, the great josh Totobi mm-hmm. at six and then homestead and then to end the night we have willie k one of our favorites really happy to have him back this year Good. so an excellent lineup mm-hmm. yeah. but um let's talk about food yes let's talk about everyone and the entertainment of events arena because that's got things going on every day as well um, yeah. And that's been popular. I, I know I said we'd talk about food, but let me just go down the lineup for Thursday, uh, King K High School. And this is, by the way, it's across from the War Memorial. Yes, right correct. there. There's a there's a little center there, yeah. and it's it's nice. It's got a little stage, and people walking by can see um, Ble- um, bleachers too, so you can sit and watch the groups and chop suey jazz orchestra. They're good. Oh yeah, they're, they're gonna they're and good. a lee band. Uh, and Friday, we got Keone's Hot Lava Dance Fit, always fun, in Maui, Taiko. And Saturday, 808 Dance Crew and uh, Kaoloa. And then Sunday, Papa and uh, more. So, And the food is one of the fun parts of the fair, and then, of course, the rides. But the food is, you know, let's just say for a second, this is raising a lot of money. This food is a huge fundraiser for the mm-hmm. nonprofits. And it's so much fun to go around and just even see what's happening when you wander from booth to booth, right? Because you just oh. see friends there, right? And, and you, chow you know, fun. Yeah, chow fun is a popular one. Teriyaki, chicken. Just yeah. traditional foods, too, that mm. bring back such long-term memories of going every year. Moon that you, pie. Yeah, like they flying that saucers. Flying the barbecue saucer. again. Yeah. The barbecue they've always done. Is that going to be there? Have you been around long enough to remember the old fairgrounds? No, well, oh. I've heard plenty about them, but yeah. no, I haven't. That's that's way before my time, Jack. <laughs> yeah, well, when I first got here, uh, they did have the old fairgrounds, and uh, buildings were basically falling apart. There was like 
where they have the... Uh, yeah, well, this they used to have races. They used to have yeah, horse Yeah, used to have the horse there. races. And then when the winds would pick up, that big old barn that they had, you know, they'd go... <laughs> and then go the other way and... Surprise didn't fall. I in. was there once in yeah. 1986, and I got pictures of all the staff at that time. Oh god! Including, really? remember the pictures we put? Tinch, we put pictures up in the tent at our booth there. Well, many a year we did. We we're down what? at the booths, and I, I was there one year. Work so many of these fairs. But Always food. Fun. I'm going to just mention more about food because I found the food list. St. Anthony's doing beef brisket plate, uh, ice cream sundaes and floats from Cam School Project. Uh, Gov- Covenant Power Church has. Lao Lao Pig, uh, Kalua Pig, Chicken Long Rice. You're getting hungry. Loco Moco from Lodge Maui Temple Association. Uh, Maui Puerto Rican Association there with pastels and rice. And um, show you chicken plate and lemonade, of course. Frosty lemonade. That sounds good to me right now. Mm-hmm. Orange chicken plate from Po'okela Church. There's a lot of religious food here. King, just looking at all the food eh, we got from it's, the churches. It's not religious it's food. Blessed, it's blessed by the churches, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, co- oh, this is one of my favorites, the cob corn. Oh, and Terry Burgers. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, empanadas there, barbecue chicken, chicken hecka. Poi mochi. Where, this is new. The Maui Roller Girls are doing banana bread s'mores. They've been doing that oh, one for a couple they? years now, yeah. Have you ever? Yeah, I've never it's, seen it's that. It's really good. Is I've, it good? I've tried it. That sounds wonderful. Pronto pups, Terry beef plate, chicken strips, um, and nachos from New Leaf Ranch. I love my nachos. So lots of good food. Now, we don't want to forget about one of my favorite things, the uh, photos. I loved you. Could, I mean, this is one thing I do, and it's hard, Jack, because I'm doing and I'm just kind of sitting around. By the way, we have a new um, thank you, a huge, huge trailer for our green room behind the stage. It's huge and air-conditioned. But I, I run out of there. We have a green room? Yeah, well, it's a huge trailer. They dub, they got a new trailer oh. twice as big as before. Have you seen it? It's big. Yeah, Autumn, it's huge. I have seen yeah, it. It's nice. I'm used yeah. to changing yeah. in the back of my truck. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's going to be air conditioned, which is the key here. Um, but then um, you run over and you go over to the War Memorial Stadium. And I love seeing the orchid displays there, the flowers. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're beautiful. Yes. And then the uh, photos uh, yes, from the, photo the camera salon, club. And we also have um, school art um, in the gymnasium, yes. too, as yeah. well as our horticulture section, yeah, which and we'll have plants for sale again this year. And then also lots of different fun activities happening. Um, they're doing some contests throughout the weekend, watermelon, corn shucking, different recipe contests. Wait, what? Well, not watermelon, corn shucking. It's watermelon eating. eating. Okay. And then, <laughs> and then corn, corn shucking. shucking. I'd like to see have a watermelon chucked, shuck. Have you ever yeah. chucked a corn? I, uh, no. Oh, okay. yeah, of course. You have chucked a corn? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've never chucked a corn. From Missouri. Come on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love taking pictures of the ag, the, the animals back there. You go back there and it's so, there's so many darling animals oh, to take I pictures guess. of. So I go back and take photos of that as well. Um, candy, I mean, no, it's puff, puff, what's that puff thing? That big puff, Con- big, tra- candy, not candy corn. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Yes. I had, uh, that's my guilty pleasure. Yes. I like cotton, but I can't have a cotton candy and a sundae, and if I had a choice, I think I'll have the sundae, right, because they're doing the sundae. I so. agree, just because it's so hot right yeah, now, too. I agree. Um, okay, let's talk about the rides. This yes. was a whole big thing. I just let, Can we just give uh, kudos here for a moment to Sherry and all the people? Sherry's the fair director. Um, it, it, there were a few challenges to overcome this year. Um, the shipping of the E.K. Fernandez's, mm-hmm. uh, the whole thing was expensive. And then there were a couple of storms as well. Yes, very expensive. And we're just happy for all the different community organizations that come together um, in E.K. Fernandez that help us provide the fair, um, the rides and everything, because that's, you know, one of the most important aspects. So we're happy to offer those again this year. Um, we will have the discount ride days on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and then again um, from Sunday, um, from all day from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. And then Fun Factory also provides the first um, 2,000 people free to get in on Sunday. Oh, they are going to do that. They are going to do it again this year. Okay, I did not know that. I hadn't heard that. First 2,000 people free on Sunday, folks. And the gates open at what time on Sunday? 10? Uh, 10 a.m. At 10. So, folks, this is a great opportunity to get in free on, on Sunday morning. Uh I'll go down and provide church services for people who are missing church by getting in early at 10. 
a choice. Do I go to church or do I get in free at the fair? Oh, my gosh, what a hard decision. Um, but but uh, what are the discount things, deals? on Because that? that's a great one to take advantage of on Saturday and Sunday. Yes, so we have for... Um on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4, the 35 ri- credit rides will be reduced to 25. Um, Rock and Tug will be 35 still. 50 credit rides will be 35, and 75 credits will be 50. Um, and then on Sunday, we'll have 35 credits will be 30. 50 credit rides will be 40, and then 75 credit rides will be 60. All right, so that's good to know because if you've got a family... It can get expensive. A little pricey. It can get so a little we're pricey. To so get the discounts. Out. Yeah, um. yeah. Now, I tell you what, I don't ride the rides, but I love taking pictures of that Ferris wheel and some of the rides. It's great photos. Really great. Matthew Thayer always oh, knocks it out of the park, great doesn't he, with job. his pictures yes. of, of that. And um, so, so that's a part of the fair you don't want to miss either. <clears throat> um, and then there's all the fun things you can wander around the tents and see the retail. There's a lot of businesses in there you can say hi to. and. I can go exchange cards and network with people. <laughs> yes, <laughs> a lot of great local, um, you know, brands and retailers there. A lot of made in Maui things. Um, we also have a lot of businesses that are there. Get your free swag, and then um, there there is swag. So yeah. yeah, get a bag, and yeah. Although they give a lot of bags out. They actually. do give a lot of bags, so, <laughs> so just, you might not have yeah, to bring a bag. Up. <laughs> You'll probably get some free bags if you wander around there. It is kind of fun to see what you can get. And there's usually prizes you can sign up for, too, right? Yes, lots you know, of prize drawings. Remember all off. the years we were there, Jack? And, and, uh, and broadcast from there? Yep. You remember that? And did that thing? The big and, old boombox. You remember that? Yeah. <laughs> and you set it up and had that. Sometimes you'd have your truck down there, a van yep. down there. and. Remember how we broadcast and we even did music from there once? You remember mm-hmm. that? Oh, I remember that. Vividly. Hot. Mm-hmm. The dusty. Word, the word hot? <laughs> dusty, dusty, dusty. Hot. How's the weather look for this weekend? It's looking good so far, so we're keeping fingers crossed throughout the whole weekend. Um, we also have something new to our Lost Keiki tent this year, thanks to Maui Health Systems. Um, they will be giving out some prizes and um, also aiding with that. So just make sure to register your keiki there. Um, just in case you guys How does do that work? You just go and stop in on the way in and, and you, 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 how do you do that? Um, you stop in and then we'll provide um, your child a wristband um, with your contact information. So if you do get separated, oh, then, yes, then we can um, call you and notify you that your child is It can happen there. in the blink of an eye. It can. Because yeah. there's so many things kids want. You know with heavy metal, right? And, mm-hmm. and there's and so they, many they get, people They, they want to run around yeah. and, and you, you're getting tickets or something. You're getting your thing, and they go running off, you know, and the next thing you know, it's like, oh, my gosh, where do they go? Well, Remember they, they used to think we were the lost um Oh, yeah. Tent. We're well, right we used to be, our tent used to be right next to it. Yes. 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 So we're really so happy okay. for Maui Health System and also um, Girl Scouts So where Scouts is of that? Hawaii. Where do people go to register their kids and get a wristband for them? Uh, it's located at the Kanaloa entrance across from the Booth Food entrance, and so there's a big sign. Okay, that's right where that's it was before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. at the beginning, yeah. the front, right, when you go in. Okay, there. Parking, parking, parking. Um, it's always an issue. Mm, shuttle, um, shuttle, 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 shuttle. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a few ways to do it, and um, of course, you know there's fees if you. And, but they go to, I believe, nonprofits. But you can park at the Queen Kaamana Center, folks, and there are shuttles going from the Queen Kaamana Center. It's not in the front. You have to park in the back where the buses are. Yes, park if in you want to do that, um, by the Long's Drugs, um, by the park. You can park in the parking garage, and then that's where the bus will pick you up. So they're running about every 30 to 40 minutes. Um, they start on Friday. So on Friday, they go from 5 to 9 p.m., Saturday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., and then 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. again on Sunday. Um, we do have other bus service provided by Roberts Hawaii. Which, and where does that go from? Um, that'll pick you up at Wailuku parking location, so either at the Maui County Building parking lot um, on High Street and then the Wells or the Wells Park parking lot on Wells Street. And then we have the Kahului locations, um, UH Maui Soccer Fields, and then also Cape Puolani Park. And then they run, they start on Thursday after the parade. Cape Puolani Park, it's not... That so it's right down there at the park. You can park at yeah, the park. You can park. At park. Park. Yeah. park at the park. Yeah. And and there's shuttles at which it's a big park. Um, where the soccer fields are there. Um, they just run continuously throughout the area. Throughout the park. Yeah. Oh well, that's good to know because if you're parking at the War Memorial Stadium, a lot of people, a lot of parking space at the War Memorial, but there is a fee there. 
Yes. Yes, and there's a fee across the street. There's also a fee there, but it does. And you can park up above at the high school, right? You can still park there. And that's, I think, was that $5? It or? is $5. I think it's $5. I, I think it goes to one of their groups there, too. Yeah. So so um, lots of ways to do it. Don't park at Kaiser. <laughs> 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 I know people think they can. Don't park at Kaiser. And the YMCA will be doing parking, but you can't park at the YMCA unless you pay. So there's a fee there, unless you're unless you're a member of the Y and you pretend like you're going in and then you walk out and go across the street. <laughs> just as if you're a member. I'm just saying you can still park there if you're legally if you're a member. You, are you a member? No. I'm a member. Um, <laughs> I might just park there. Because, uh, <laughs> I mean, and, and folks, be prepared to be hydrated and have a hat and, and stay, yes. Because it's it could be very hot. And you want to make sure you, you know, bring your umbrella or bring a lot of hydration. Hi there. Kelly, do you know Autumn? Hi, Kelly. Oh, hey. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> it's so funny. Because Autumn used to work at the Maui Mall, and I've got Kelly from the Maui Mall, the new person. That's so funny. It all goes around in circles, it right? Does. It does. Yep. <laughs> definitely does, Cindy. Small island. <laughs> it's so funny. Very small. Uh, because you used to work at Gilbert and work the fair at Gilbert when you were with Gilbert, right? I did, did yes. so, yeah. <laughs> so, Well, we we covered the bases pretty well. We and, did. And, and, and I really am excited about it. I really am. And I, I'm I, we, it's the first time, folks, we really would like you to come out and support Rock Night because we've never done it before. It's our first time. And um, we'd like you to come out for that. And Absolutely. I'm the know, ringmaster. I'll be there. We'll, we'll be kicking off the show at 6.30 Friday night. Be there. You know, the key thing is uh, you probably missed it in Mulligans uh, when we played with the Exiles Tribute to the Stones. But uh, there's no excuse this time around because you have to bring your kids to the fair. And it's cheaper Do than it, it was. Do it Friday night. It's cheaper than it was at Mulligans. Yeah, that's right. It is. That's I have right. to say. We were it's charging cost, $25. It's a cost of going to the fair. Yeah, no, I mean, it's just boom right there. Well, I have to say that for any of the entertainment because the entertainment is first rate. You would not be able to see any of these groups. Uh, for ten dollars, any of these groups, let mm-hmm. alone a few of these groups, you know, you'd never see any of the groups there that are listed that are playing even just one act of them for for ten dollars. And here you're seeing a whole bunch of them, so it's a way to go. Yes, yeah. and all the exhibits and everything else that's going on throughout the day, and then um, just you know for schedule updates and everything and parking info, you can always go on to MauiFair.com, and we have all the information listed there. Yes, MauiFair.com. Thank you so much, Autumn. I know how busy you've been. I oh, so yes, appreciate yes. you coming in. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's yeah. been so great. It's been too long. It's been too long yeah. for sure. Um, good seeing you. Next thing we need is parking passes for the entertainers, but I'll yes. deal with that. <laughs> We're working on that. We're working on that. And I'll see you everybody Friday. <laughs> thank you so Come much, Come on Jack. down. Thank thanks, you so Jack. much. Thank you, thank you. And um,